key items that you must consider when you're beginning your grocery business. This is Marim Bafachi and if this is your first time to be on my YouTube channel, kindly make it a point to hit the subscribe button down here so that you're not missing out any other video whenever we upload. Now, today I'm going to talk about something very important. Briefly what it is. Uh, these are the key items that you must consider when you're uh, starting your grocery business. It is a list of them, but I will talk about the key of them, that these are the dominant you know, items that you can never miss whenever you're going to start your business. Therefore, I have to, uh, to do this video in that it can help you select these uh, items, you know, trying to gauge with the amount of money you're planning to start your business with. Other items, you know, you can leave them out, but these are the key that you have to start with. Number one item, and this is the dominant item, um, it is rice. Rice is the dominant item in a grocery uh, store business. For example, in areas of, you know, uh, towns like Kampala, you know, Mbalala, you know, Jinja, all the people staying in these areas, they are rice, you know, they eat rice than any other item, you know, and when you go up country, Posho will dominate, but in Kampala, rice will take the lead. Therefore, you have to consider rice as number one item. But guess what? Rice itself has got different types. And these types um, ranges from Pakistan, then Basmat, then we have Super. This is the commonly known rice and basically imported from uh, uh, Tanzania, Mwanza area, you know, Kahama. We, we import that rice from Tanzania. And we even have Super from Soloti, uh, Lila. So, this is another type of rice that we sell that you must include within your store business. Then we have Kaiso. Kaiso, it is commonly known uh, here and it is grown in the eastern part of the region. Yeah, eastern part of the, um, of the country, that's where they grow Kaiso. And Kaiso, you can, you know, you can find it cheaply by the way people eat Kaiso. Why? It is always cheaper in the market. Therefore, when you're starting your business, for example, your store business, you must consider that item as Kaiso. Let it be dominating in your, in your items because everyone can access it. And remember, do not forget this tip that we are targeting these small income earners. These are the people, these are your, your target customers. They will come uh, purchase from you. And then other types of rice like upland, it is not uh, marketed here and it is not demanded here. So I would not encourage you to start with the upland rice within uh, Kampara uh, city or other big cities. Yeah, but when you go to areas of Chisolo in the uh, southwestern part of the country, they demand for that one. Yes, so the dominant item that is rice uh, following all those different types of rice I have mentioned above. The second item you must not miss out when you're beginning your, uh, your grocery business, that is posho. We call it maize fra, but commonly known as posho. Now, people will always demand for this. Even here in the city, they will eat posho. They will eat posho, therefore you must include it on the, on the list, budget for it, let it be the second largest item that you must consider when you're, you know, selecting these items and, you know, uh, laying out the budget for your grocery business. The third, the third, the third item uh, takes us to beans. Beans is this, uh, uh, the third item that you cannot miss to include on the list. Yes, it also ranges from different types, different varieties. And now we have Nambale beans, Nambale, then we have Nambale short and long, then we have Masabu beans, 
kind of white white beans i will show them as you will be seeing them here then we have red beans we have kaula and many other varieties of beans then we have the fourth item that you cannot miss to include on the list and this is sugar sugar makes money here why every other family demands for it they have to take sugar so it takes a biggest percentage also as uh, many people demand for this yeah and many more other items we have also soya porridge we have rice porridge then we have millet porridge all those items you can include them there okay but the key you know items that you cannot miss out we have rice then posho and beans those are the key items the rest you can bring them you know as your uh, moving moving on yeah so as i told you if you want to have more of my videos kindly make it a point to subscribe to this channel so that you're not missing out any other videos okay stay blessed may god